if you are sick of paying Anthropic 200 bucks a month subscription, or if you are just hitting Claude Code's limit very fast, then this video is for you. What I'm going to show you is how I use different non-anthropic models with Claude Code, seeing if all Claude Code features such as command, subagents, and Claude.md files still works with these different models, and giving you a side-by-side -side comparison between Opus, GLM 4.5, and DeepSeek. Not going to lie, the result may surprise you. Let me show you what the setup looks like. Okay, here I have my terminal open, and if I type in ZC, this is an alias I created. It's going to open Claude Code and use GLM 4.5. Now, if I type in DC for DeepSeek, you can see that the API base URL is now using DeepSeek. So I can easily switch over between whether I want to just use Claude Code normally with Anthropics model or I want to use a different third-party model. Okay, now you're probably wondering how am I setting all this up? Luckily, this is extremely easy to set up. All you would have to do is override the Anthropic base URL as well as the Anthropic auth token. And let me show you how I've done it. Here is my Z profile. Obviously, I am not showing you my auth token, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to z.ai and you're gonna generate a new API token and paste it literally in here. And you would do the same thing with DeepSeek API key. The most important thing here, other than the API key for DeepSeek, is that you need to specify the DeepSeek model to DeepSeek Reasoner. The reason why you want Reasoner is that in the DeepSeek documentation, they tell you to add the DeepSeek chat. And this is going to use the non-reasoning model and the performance is gonna be terrible. Okay, now I'm gonna show you where I use these environment variables. Going to my zshrc file, and you can see I have the two alias I was using previously before here. zc will launch Claude Code with the Anthropic base URL and Anthropic auth token set to ZAI base URL and ZAI auth token respectively, so that I'm gonna be able to utilize GLM 4.5 from Z.AI whenever I use this command to launch Claude Code. And the same thing with DC, but respectively, it's going to be using DeepSeek environment variable. All right, let's go over what task I'm gonna use to compare these models. Here I have my application called Claude Maestro, basically an open AI codex clone before Claude code and runs locally. As you can see, there is a three previous message collapsed text here. I'm gonna have this be a drop down. So if I click on this, it should expand the message, show all three previous messages. And if I click it again, it should collapse all three previous message back into something like this. Going to my DeepSeek session here, as you can see, I have instantiated Cloud Code with DeepSeek. I'm gonna use the command I have called create plan. I'm gonna have it go. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna queue up in Opus as well as in GLM 4.5. And as you can see, these third party models are working with Claude commands. Okay, all Claude code instances with different models have completed generating the plan. Now, before we execute these plan, let's go ahead and create agents for each of these plan. In this Opus instance, I'm going to be using my create agent command and passing it the plan that he has just generated. It's going to create agents based on the plan I passed into it. I'm gonna do the same thing with DeepSeek and GLM 4.5. And then what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to restart Claude Code because unfortunately, as you probably already know, Claude Code does not dynamically load agents. As you can see, both DeepSeek and GLM models are able to utilize subagents. But this is a very specific use case where I am explicitly invoking in my command to tell the models to use this agent creator. In the next step that I'm gonna go through, which is using my implement command, it's not gonna be explicit like this. It's only going to tell the model to basically look at the available agents and assign each task to different agents. All the models have now completed creating the agents. And it's all given me a reminder to restart Claude Code, as you can see. 
So I'm going to go ahead and restart clock code. Now I'm going to be using my implement command, pass it in the plan and go ahead and start running that. This is actually really interesting. You can see that Opus obviously is reliable and will be able to assign tasks and invoke sub agents accordingly. DeepSeek reasoning is actually doing this pretty well too, which is awesome. However, GLM 4.5, as you can see, and I've actually run, this is not the first time I'm run, running this test, by the way, I've ran this test multiple times now. And every single time GLM 4.5 has failed to invoke sub agents, if it's not explicitly told to. And I'm actually not 100% sure why that is. Anyway, while these are going, I want to touch a bit on the pricing. GLM coding plan is literally basically free if it's compared to Claude Code's pricing. I am currently using GLM coding light $3 a month and you get 120 prompts per five hour cycle. As for DeepSeek, I don't think there is a subscription plan. So I do just use the API pricing here. It's basically 56 cents, a 1 million input token and $1.68 for 1 million output token, which is way less expensive if compared to Anthropic's token pricing. Now, I actually switched down from 200 to $100 because I'm not hitting the limit and even if I hit the limit, now that I know there's alternatives, I kind of want to check out the alternatives first before I commit more into the $200 max plan. Okay, this is Opus implementation. It's kind of barked and maybe that's because I didn't review the plan, but moving on, let's just go and see. DeepSeek did at least get it somewhat working. As you can see, if I click this previous message collapse button here, it actually expands the three different messages that was returned. Obviously the button is in the wrong place and the animation is kind of weird. At least it's like half working. Let's check out what GLM 4.5 did. It did exactly the same as what DeepSeek did. GLM 4.5 and DeepSeek has done better in this task than Opus and this is actually in my testing, when I have ran this test multiple times, this has actually been a very consistent result, which is very surprising if you have been thinking that Opus is the best model, even through the benchmarks. Obviously, benchmarks don't really mean much these days. It's really dependent on your specific task and your preferences, very subjective here. But for my testing, GLM 4.5, honestly, in terms of cost and value has been really on point and has been the best choice so far, which is really unexpected. The one caveat, as you may have already noticed, is that to be able to use sub agents with JLM 4.5, you need to be more explicit about it. So I'm not sure if this is a consistent thing or what your experience has been. If you have different experience to mine, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. But this has been my experience so far is that GLM 4.5 is just not very good at invocating sub agents. While Opus is very consistent, DeepSeek is semi-consistent. Also, there's a discussion to be had about whether sub agents actually move the needle. In my experience of using sub agents, not only do they use more token, they take longer to finish tasks. And I don't really think that the resulting task is better. Maybe it's a little bit better. It's not a substantial leap towards just having a task done without an agent, if you know what I mean. Maybe it's just the way I'm using agents. You know, some people have great success with sub agents, some people don't. Sub agents is kind of a mixed bag and that's kind of the vibe I'm getting so far. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my live stream as well. I've been streaming almost every single day. So hit the subscribe and bell notification icon so you know when I'm actually live. And if you want to use Cloud Maestro, there is a link below in the description. All my resources will be down there as well. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Same time. Peace.